If you've been looking to upgrade your iPhone, you'll likely have to wait a bit longer for the newest version. We spoke with CNET about how some Bay Area tech companies continue to adapt to the coronavirus outbreak. First one is Apple and, you know, the, the production of the new iPhone. Sounds like there's a little snag there. Yeah, so we're really going to have to see what happens with this year's iPhones. Obviously, coronavirus is kind of impacting everything. It's not only hurting demand, but also manufacturing. So for Apple, they assemble their phones in China. And what the latest rumor is, is that things could get pushed back by like a month. Uh, we've also heard rumors saying, oh, the phones are going to be on time. Others saying they could be much later. Who knows what's going to happen? Apple has earnings this week, so they could give some sort of indication on um, you know, what they're expecting. They usually don't forecast quite that far out, but we should see some sort of indication on how much uh, COVID-19 is impacting them. It'd be so weird to you know, hear of Apple actually delaying an iPhone when it seemed like at one point they were turning them out like every two months or so. <laughs> yeah, so they just came out with the iPhone SE, which is their low-cost iPhone, and it's kind of the perfect iPhone for the time. You know, it starts at $400. Uh, we're really expecting this year's iPhones in the fall to have 5G, and, um, you know, usually they introduce them in September. They have delayed them in the past. When the first iPhone 10 came out, there were some manufacturing issues, and so it didn't actually go on sale until November. So this isn't totally unprecedented, but um, you know it would be notable considering a lot of people are really waiting for the next iPhones and for 5G. And the other company that's kind of changing its policies or really being affected now is Airbnb, and they're kind of changing some of their protocols now. Yeah, I mean, Airbnb, if you think about it, uh, people aren't traveling. And if you're going to travel, you're worried. We're all cleaning our own stuff kind of fanatically. So what is it going to be like when you go to an Airbnb? So Airbnb is trying to address that by having a sort of kind of badge saying, hey, this place has been gone through the correct cleaning procedures. Uh, somebody hasn't been in the in the booking for at least 24 hours. Um, it's kind of just a way to show you, hey, this has been disinfected, it's been cleaned, you're safe to stay here. And then another thing that's really been canceled a lot, that we're kind of getting into film festival season, um, but YouTube, they're kind of stepping in to help fill the void a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, what we've seen is basically all of the film festivals have been canceled or postponed. So what's happening is YouTube is going to bring together a bunch of them. So Tribeca, Cannes, uh, Berlin, a bunch of different film festivals and offer some of that content on YouTube. Uh, and we also saw that happen with South by Southwest. So Amazon Prime is playing South by Southwest shows right now, actually. And you're able to go on and see some of these documentaries or shorts or comedies, you know, whatever it is you're interested in that weren't able to be shown at these festivals. 